Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and selamat, selamat sejahtera. Okay, today we will discuss on lecture 5. Uh, topic is algorithm. Actually, while you are doing your um, programming, uh, pengatujaraan, you have to do an algorithm. What is algorithm? Okay, let's discuss in this chapter. Uh, this is the lecture content for today. Okay, first is introduction. Second is properties of algorithm. Third is algorithm. Uh, and uh, uh, some example of algorithm will be discussed here. Okay, as an introduction. Okay, there are many general classes of problem arise in discrete mathematics. Okay, given instant, given a sequence of integer, find the largest one. Given a set of integer, put them in increasing order. Given a network, find the shortest path. Okay, this is some example. It, it, it is not in uh, discrete mathematics itself, but it's more to the real life application. But it's not only focus on this topic. But uh, it's more if you want to do uh, something like uh, to develop a program for finding the uh, suitable co curriculum for that particular student based on their interest. Okay, then you can um, build one uh, program but before that you have to build your algorithm first what is the what is algorithm actually actually is uh, uh, the general uh, definition kita cakap apa tu algorithm algorithm tu is like step by step while you are uh, focusing on uh, to get the objective of your programming, to get the output, apa yang kamu kena buat? That step by step tu, we call it as algorithm. Then we translate it into pseudocode. After that, uh, we build a function for your program by using your uh, suitable uh, language. Okay, so here as an introduction, when presenting with such a problem, the first thing to do is to construct a model that translates the problem into a mathematical context. Okay, this is uh, how we develop a function. Kan kita, kita ada macam contoh, kita nak suruh apa, student tu boleh mendaftar khusus. Kalau dia boleh mendaftar khusus, mathematical, con, uh, kita punya way how to Tu maksudnya kita mesti ada syarat. Okey, contohnya dia mesti dah contohnya dia dah daftar subjek yang perlu dan CGPA dia berapa. Okey, kita boleh translate it into the mathematical way into your main function in your program. Okey, setting up the appropriate mathematical model is only part of the solution. To complete the solution, a method is needed that will solve the general problem is using the model. Okay, this is how we create a model. Ideally, what is required is a procedure, uh, procedure that follow a sequence of the step that leads to desired answer. Maksudnya kita, kita yang letak, maksudnya rule tu, kita uh, how to get that, that objective, how to get that output, kita yang set dia. Okay, then we have to uh, prove. Kita boleh uji lah masukkan satu contoh adakah jawapan tu betul. Okay. That how we prove our program to valid ke tidak. Such a sequence of step is called an algorithm. Sequence of step, uh, step by step tu we call it as algorithm. Okay. Definition and uh, algorithm is a finite sequence. Dia ter hingga. Maksudnya tak adalah ada macam kita... Uh, kita buat program kadang-kadang kita punya tu is not finite maksudnya dia tidak ada stop kan kita mesti kena ada stop so that uh, dia boleh berhenti dia tak loop kan kadang-kadang bila kita buat tu kita lupa nak buat syarat berhenti it will be loop uh, lepas tu kamu kena berhenti kan pula kamu punya apa yang running tu kan running 
uh, output tu. Okay, a finite sequence of precise instruction for performing a computation or for solving a problem. Okay, this uh, as first example, describe an algorithm for finding the maximum or largest value in a finite sequence of integer. Okay, this is what we want to find. Okay, kita nak cari uh, algorithm for finding uh, largest value in a finite sequence of integer. Okay, kita nak cari uh, largest yang paling besar daripada satu siri yang kita ada, integer yang kita ada. Okay, this is how, uh, what is our objective. Okay, then what is our solution? We can solve the problem by performing the following step. Okay, ini salah satu cadangan lah. Set the temporary maximum. Lepas tu equal to the first integer in the sequence. The temporary maximum will be the largest the largest integer. Examine at any stage of the procedure. Okay, then compare the next integer in the sequence of the temporary maximum and if it is larger than the temporary maximum, then set the temporary maximum equal to this integer. Repeat the okay. Repeat the previous step. If there are more integer in the sequence, stop when there are no left in uh, in the sequence. The temporary maximum at this point is the largest integer. Maksudnya dia akan pergi kepada satu satu nombor tu. Contohnya kalau kita ada hmm, macam ni kan kita ada set of integer. Ah uh, user input. Contohnya please input five. 5 number integer user tu input lah 5 lepas tu 7 2, 3 lepas tu dia input 1 ok, by using this step ok, dia suruh set, first set ini sebagai our temporary raja uh, integer, lepas tu kita bandingkan 5 dengan 7 ni mana lagi besar yang the, the second kita punya loop tu kan 5 dengan 7 mana besar kalau kalau input yang baru ni besar so kita ambil ini sebagai the largest one so ini kita dah tak ambil ok hmm. then the second punya loop tu by using this this solution ok uh, kita compare dengan dua pula 7 dengan 2 yang mana lagi besar ok kalau kita ada 7 lagi besar so kita proceed with 7 then 2 kita ambil lepas tu the third loop Pula, ah macam tu. Okey, kita compare 7 dengan 3. Okey, 7 lagi besar. So, dia tak ambil 3. Okey, then the following loop, ah kita compare. Yang ni. Okey, so dengan satu-satu ah lagi kecil kan. So, ah we remain 7 as our larger integer but we we visit every number. Ha, semua number ni kita dah visit. Okay. Then if there is no number, please put your algorithm there syarat berhenti. Then exit ha, berhenti or, 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 or display a number. Okay. 7 is the larger integer. Ha, macam tu. The larger integer is 7. Ha. Okay, we can specify a procedure for solving a problem using English language to describe the sequence of the step used. Okay, the procedure ni kita boleh guna English language. If you don't want to do, uh, to do it in English language, kalau kita dah uh, biasa dengan bahasa Melayu pun boleh. As long as you know the step that you want to do. Okay, after that, we can translate the sequence of the step into a programming lang language. Okay, it depends what language do you want to do. Tetapi semua language pun kalau kita dah belajar asas macam kita dah belajar C++, kita dah belajar Java. Actually kalau dia bagi apa-apa language pun kamu dah senang faham dah. Kamu dah tahu dah dia punya syntax apa yang perlu ada. Kadang-kadang ada language tu dia lagi simple sebab dia dah banyak. Dia dah banyak built-in function. Okay. Since there are many programming language are in common use. It will be undesirable to choose one particular language. Okay. So instead of using particular computer language to specify algorithm, a form of pseudocode. Okay. Kalau kita tak guna programming language tu, kita boleh uh, uh, 
Maksudnya more general we use pseudocode. Maksudnya kita boleh translate this pseudocode into any programming language. Dia dah dalam bentuk dia lebih dekat dengan uh, syntax yang dalam programming tu lah pseudocode ni. Tapi dia lagi simple but we understand uh, inside that we have to do a loop. We have to do a um, like previous example. We have to set a temporary number. Okay, pseudocode provide an intermediate step between an English language description of an algorithm and implementation of this algorithm is uh, in a programming language. In fact, the instruction used can include any well-defined operation or statement. Okay, for pseudocode example one. Okay, this is how to find. Okay, this is. The example of pseudocode, how we represent pseudocode. Ah, uh, okay. Ni algorithm one ni tajuk dia apa? Okay, so that user know what you want to find. Okay, finding the maximum value in a finite sequence. Okay, then we specify our input apa? Input kita ialah a finite sequence of integer. Ha, maksudnya tak kisah orang tu nak masuk 5 ke 6 ke asalkan ada integer yang dia input. Kalau dia nak masuk satu pun it's okay. Kat sini dia tak bagi syarat kan. Okay output the maximum value. Okay this is our objective to find the maximum value. Okay, this is okay. Ah, uh, temporary value that ah uh, the previous example, which is ah uh, we set a temporary value as a one. Ah, uh, our user input tu kan kita 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 a one tu is a uh, number one input. Okay, then until a i. Kita tak tahu berapa banyak kan? Kalau tu I ha, nampak dekat sini ha, ha, Kalau kat sini kita tahu bukan satu Maksudnya dia letak dua sehingga N Maksudnya I kita tu Maksudnya kita akan For I kita kena Bila kita buat program tu Please input uh, Sila masukkan uh, Nombor integer dua Sekurang-kurangnya dua nombor ha, Contohnya macam tu lah Okay So sekarang ni this is the user input A1 until AI. Then our AI, I is from 2 until N. Okay. So if maximum is less than AI. Okay. So kita, kita, uh, kita bandingkan. Okay. This is A1 just now, right? Okay. If maximum is less than AI. Okay. So uh, our A1 is our maximum now. In the first run. Okay. First loop. Okay, now we we uh, masuk kat dalam yang ni, if ni. Okay, jika maximum ni, if our maximum value A1 ni, okay, A1 ni is uh, less than AI, nombor yang kedua, nombor yang kedua. Okay, then maximum tu maksudnya AI ni akan jadi, nombor yang kedua ni akan jadi maximum. Okay, and. Then we go for number two punya A1 uh, A1 just now. Sebab tu AI kita ialah A2 right? A2. Okay dekat A2 ni. Okay dekat A2 ni. Ada apa? Uh, uh, this is our maximum now. Okay then A2 tu kita uh, kita bandingkan dengan yang seterusnya A3 pula sebab I ni kan dia macam sequence from 2 to N. Okay lepas A3 kita bandingkan so kita kita tengok A2 A2 ke A3 yang paling besar. So then set the maximum. Okay then N. Okay return lastly return maximum value. Okay return Kita pulang kat kamu. Kamu nak letak as a number or you want to put a display uh, satu word then put a return maximum value. Okay, this algorithm first assign the initial term of sequence A1 to the maxi variable maximum. For is used to successively examine term of the sequence. Okay. 
in term of greater than the current value of maximum, it is assigned to be new value of maximum. Okay, so now. There are several properties. Okay, now we go for properties of algorithm. Uh, generally to share, there are used to keep in mind when algorithm are described. This property are uh, detailed explanation are based on example one. Okay, properties of algorithm. Yeah, macam ni. How can we uh, create an algorithm? Mesti ada apa dalam algorithm tu? First is input. Okay, kita kena specify what is our input. Okay, then what is our output? Jadi kat sini kita jelas bila sebelum kita buat program tu kita dah ada draft of this. Okay, so this is the output. Okay, then definiteness. Okay, this is the, uh, how we have to define what is the uh, parameter involved. Okay, then the correctness. Okay, the correctness ni yang paling penting. Uh, so yang lain tadi tu pun penting juga mesti ada input output right. But yeah, in order to get your objective. An algorithm should produce the correct output value for each of input value. To show the algorithm one is correct, we must show that when the algorithm terminate, the value of variable maximum equal to the maximum of the term of sequence. Okay. So, kita boleh uji lah when we put set of integer. So, we, if our answer is right, so we know that our um, sequence of algorithm that we build is correct. Okay, to see this, not the initial value of maximum is the first term of the sequence. As such as term of the sequence, the examine uh, 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 the sequence are uh, examine maximum is updated to the value of the term exceed the maximum of the term previous as the mean. Okay. This argument show that when all the term have been examined, maximum equals the value of the largest term. Okay, yang ini contoh, dia guna contoh correctness ni, dia contoh yang tadi tu. But, as a human, we know that our answer is correct or not. Okay, kita boleh tengok. Okay, set tu kita dah boleh nampak dah. Yang ni yang correct. But, here, algorithm ni ialah apa? Ialah, we want to create a brain for our coding. Ha, kita nak tahu, ha, kita nak tambahkan uh, macam mana nak tambahkan ada uh, decision inside our coding uh, macam tu inside our programming okay okay fine fineness okay this is mestilah terhingga tak boleh lah buat satu program yang tidak terhingga dia tidak berhenti okay then effectiveness okay must be effective okay you can read by yourself here, um, can carry infinite amount of time because each step is com either a comparison or an assignment. Okay, generality means still general. Okay, ini maksudnya macam tadi lah generality. Maksudnya orang tu masukkan apa-apa number pun boleh juga. Okay. Okay, yeah. Algorithm. There are many basic and well-known algorithm exist. Okay, this is searching algorithm. Searching algorithm ni, uh, for example, linear search, binary search. Okay, sorting algorithm. How to sort? Ada yang guna bubble sort, insertion sort. Okay, ini dinamakan lah. Okay, greedy algorithm ialah Contohnya uh, to solve optimization problem macam mana kita nak dapatkan contohnya the lo, the largest uh, the the largest path uh, okay yang paling jauh kita nak dapatkan jarak yang paling jauh macam mana daripada pilihan-pilihan yang ada okay this is greedy change counting algorithm and greedy algorithm for scheduling task okay actually until now Maksudnya researcher contohnya kan uh, dia nak searching, searching algorithm, searching algorithm there is uh, innovation maksudnya orang still tercari-cari the best searching method for dia particular problem. Kita tak boleh kata linear search is the best one sebab kita nak kena tahu fungsi linear search tu dekat kita punya uh, problem sesuai ke tidak. Okay ada orang dia create another algorithm. 
Pernah dengar tak end colony? End colony algorithm. Dia guna sifat-sifat macam semut tu macam mana dia nak cari um, dia searching. Dia nak searching for gula contohnya kan. Okay. Dia, dia belajar the algorithm from the behavior of the end. Uh, maksudnya semut tu sendiri. Ha, macam mana dia nak dapatkan gula tu lepas dia dapat satu maklumat dia akan bagi tahu maklumat yang lain macam tu lah how to search that uh, tempat tu ada gula but dia tak adalah dalam program dia tu aim dia nak cari gula tidak but contohnya dia nak cari okey mineral dekat bawah uh, ni kan mineral dekat dekat uh, dekat bawah tanah kan dia macam apa dia punya variable yang dia kena cari dulu tu get okay perlu korek lagi ke tidak ke uh, macam tu uh, so they create uh, one specific uh, end colony algorithm to their specific problem for example okay but sometimes end colony algorithm tu boleh guna untuk masalah orang lain juga but they have to uh, whether they want to use it uh, straight away or they want to modify it uh, to suit to their problem okay macam tu lah maksudnya the innovation uh, untuk yang algorithm ni uh, se -se sampai sekarang ni ada macam saya buat PhD pun I'm create a, a modification of Algoritma yang sedia ada ha, macam tu. This is how we learn. Ha, macam tu lah. The basic. Okay. So this is the example which is sorting algorithm. Daripada nama ni pun kita tahu. We have to sort right. Okay. Um, ordering the element in a list. Okay. In many contexts. Okay. Kita nak susun. Dalam list tu susun. Whether we want to sort it daripada besar ke kecil ataupun kita nak sortkan daripada kecil ke besar ataupun kita nak sort dengan alphabetical order. A, B, C, D, E, F kan macam tu kan daripada list yang orang kasih. Okay. You can read all this by yourself but that's the contain mean. Okay. And the bubble sort. is one simple sorting algorithm but not one of the most efficient this is bubble sort apa tu bubble sort okay list into increasing order successively successively comparing adjacent element interchanging them if there are in the wrong order okay kita nak kita must still order to create an order maksudnya kita nak susun tu okay this is by using the bubble sort okay what is the bubble sort actually Okay, bubble sort ni dia akan beri dalam algorithm dua kejap lagi. Okay, first we have to imagine. Uh, maksudnya sebelum kita buat algorithm tu, kita kena uh, tahu. Uh, kita kena imagine lah whether we want to imagine by or uh, dengan berfikir ataupun kita tuliskan apa yang kita nak cari. Okay, so then imagine the element in a list place in a column. Then bubble smaller element, bubble to, to the top as there are interchange with the larger element. Okay macam ni. Kalau yang ni, maksudnya bubble. Bila yang paling ringan, ringan dia letak dekat atas. So then yang berat dia letak bawah. Lepas tu kalau macam contoh, uh, okay kat sini the larger element sink to the bottom. Dia akan tenggelam. Macam tu lah this is how the bubble sort work. Ah uh, macam tu dia guna juga behavior punya a uh, normal behavior maksudnya kita tahu bubble kan kalau ah uh, bubble will be ah uh, dia akan naik ke atas kan untuk yang ringan kalau kalau satu benda tu dia berat dia akan tenggelam. Okay So this is how the example for bubble sort. We have the ah uh, set uh, the series of number 3, 2, 4, 1, 5 Ok kita nak susun dalam increasing order Ok when we want to sort it by increasing order What is bubble sort? Uh, kita boleh buat macam ni Ok first pass Dekat sini Ok uh, Kita ada 3, 2, 4, 1, 5 So kita tengok 3 dengan 2 Ok kalau 3 dengan 2, 2 lagi, lagi ringan 2 naik ke atas Okay, so 3 dengan 4 Okay, kalau uh, ni kita kekalkan lah sebab 3 dengan 4 um, 3 ni lagi ringan pada 4 kan Okay, 4 dengan 1 Okay, yang ni 4 dengan 1 so kita interchange 4 dengan 1 Okay, so then 1 dengan 5 uh, Okay, 4 dengan 1 dah, dah interchange kan So, 4 dekat bawah sekarang 4 dengan 5 Okay, 4 lagi ringan so 4 dekat atas Okay, so this is the final for 
first pass. Okay, the second pass we bring this, then we do it again. Okay, first pair dua dengan tiga, still dua paling ringan. Okay, tiga dengan satu kita tukar. So satu letak atas. Okay, so tiga dengan empat pula. Okay, but here yang yang ini ni, uh, kita dah nampak dah lima ni yang paling berat kan. So yang ni dalam kotak ni dia dah kita dah dapat dah. This is the the Tempat dia yang betul. Okey, lima tu kita jangan gerakkan. Okey, so tiga dengan empat sekarang. Okey, so sekarang from here. Ha, empat, ha, untuk the third pass, kita dah tahu empat dengan lima tu dah kekal dekat tempat dia. So, kita kena uji dua, satu, tiga je. So, dua, satu, tiga, we visit pair by pair. Pasangan dengan pasangan. Dua dengan satu, lepas tu satu dengan tiga. So, then we sort. Okey, and the fourth pass, tinggallah yang ni. Ah, tinggal one pair sahaja. Okay, then we interchange kalau okay. Satu dengan dua. Okay. Satu memang dekat atas lah kat sini. Okay, so then kita dapat satu susunan yang betul. Okay. This is the explanation for previous example. Okay, how we do for the first pass. You can read by yourself. Then for the second pass, okay, this is the procedure. Then for the third pass, okay, and finally for the fourth pass, then we, uh, our objective complete. So we get the increasing order here. Okay, this is the algorithm. Okay, algorithm here, the bubble sort. Okay, then input dia, the final sequence. Okay, number. So, N lebih besar sama dengan 2. Okay, then the output kita ialah sequence of increasing order. For I, 1 sampai N tolak 1, please do. Okay, J, 1 to N tolak 1, do. Okay, if AJ is greater than AJ plus 1, then interchange. Okay, kalau... Lepas tu, berhenti. Okay. So, this is the algorithm for bubble sort. Okay. For the greedy algorithm. Many algorithm uh, are designed to solve optimization problem. Okay. The goal such that for, uh, minimize the value of some parameter. Okay. Example here. Finding a route between two cities with the some, so, uh, smallest total mileage. Okay. Ini kita kita banyak nampak application kat sini dekat kita punya wish okey then uh, kalau contohnya orang yang delivery punya company they they really want to optimize dia optimize dia punya uh, petrol nak optimize dia punya pekerja so they need the parameter to find a route okey determining a way to encode message using a few bit possible okey ni pun Optimization juga. Finding a set of fiber link between network not using the least, least amount of fiber. Yang ni pun uh, guna algorithm juga. Contohnya, uh, kalau orang kan kita nak pasang unify kan. So, what is the um, the lowest link use? Uh, kita punya objective ialah kita nak find the lowest link, uh, fiber link use. Oh, okay. Uh. Kita kena letak objektif kita dulu. Then we find a way. Surprisingly, one of the simplest approach often lead to the solution of optimization problem. This approach select the best choice at each step instead of considering all sequence of steps that may lead to an optimal solution. Okay, algorithm that make seem to be the best choice at each step are called greedy algorithm. But we can't call this greedy algorithm as the best one because it depends on your objective. Okay. As the name suggests, the greedy algorithm always make the choice that, that seem to be the best at the moment. Okay. Assume that you have a, an objective function that need to be optimized, either maximized or minimized at a given point. The greedy algorithm make greedy choice at each step to ensure that objective function is optimized. Okay, the greedy algorithm has only one shot to compute the optimal solution so that it never goes back and reverse the decision. Okay, dia, dia tak boleh ke belakang. Kan macam tu kan. Okay, so, so the algorithm ni ada faham. 
five component yang kita ada candidate is kalau contohnya okay, kita kena adalah uh, daripada bandar apa ke bandar apa macam tu our bandar tu is our list okay selection function which choose the best candidate to be added to the solution okay, kita nak guna selection function apa and visibility function after that objective function after that solution function okay so example three kita nak cari currency denomination per sen yang kita ada sekarang kan 5 sen, 10 sen, 20 sen, 50 sen yang duit yang kita ada kan duit shilling kan yang ada dalam ah uh, okey lepas so, tu divide uh, committed to pay balance okey kita nak pay balance 85 sen to customer using fewest number of coin kita nak guna the fewest yang kita boleh bagi maksudnya kita nak bagi dalam shilling yang paling jumlah shilling yang paling sedikit. Okay, so a candidate dia apa? Is a shilling just now. A selection function dia apa? Add coin of the largest value and visibility function is the largest value is less than the amount to pay and objective function minimize the number of coin and the solution function is remaining value is zero. Okay, sampai value dia kosong lah kan kita nak bagi balance ke orang tu Okay, so sekarang orang tu dia ada 85 sen uh, dia Kita kena bagi kat orang tu 85 sen So sekarang, okay by using uh, greedy yang ni kan uh, Okay, kita, kita tahu bahawa kita kena ambil uh, uh, duit shilling yang paling besar lah Supaya kita dapat kepingan shilling yang paling sedikit untuk bagi kat orang tu Okay, so we first Uh, tolakkan dengan shilling yang paling besar 50. So tinggal bagi 35. So in this 35 we can tolak dengan 50. Sebab 35 tak cukup lah kan duit kita. So yang paling besar yang kita boleh tolak ialah 20 sen kat situ. So 50 sen 20 sen. So kita dah ada 2 keping duit shilling sekarang. So bakinya ada 15 sen. Okay so dekat 15 sen ni kita tolak yang paling besar ialah 10 sen. Kalau kita tolak 5 sen so kita kan ada 5 sen, 5 sen, 5 sen kan banyak dia punya kepingan shilling. So our objective will cut ah uh, tak boleh meet nanti. Okay so now kita tolak 10. So tinggal baki dia 5. So sekarang kita ada 3 keping duit shilling sekarang ni. So then the last one until we get the balance is zero. Okay so we know that the lowest ah uh, the fewest number of coin yang kita boleh bagi ke orang tu ialah 1 2 3 4 4 keping kan duit shilling okey so this is the credit change counting algorithm okey nampak tak algorithm ni even though is greedy algorithm but we focus on our objective which is change counting algorithm okey then the input is list of constant ha uh, kita ni input kita ialah and that is 50, 20, 10, 5 and the output is uh, the list uh, set to make change unit with the minimum number of coin. Okay so this is our C. Uh, kita define dulu. Lepas tu kat sini kita letak temporary. S ni ialah uh, kita punya uh, nilai shilling tadi tu kita jangan letak apa-apa dulu. But we put a uh, ruang untuk kita letak solution kita nanti. Okay, then the sum tu last sekali mesti kosong untuk uh, in the solution set. Okay, so here while sum is not equal to n, kita buat hmm. x is largest item in the set C such that sum plus x is less than equal to n. Okay. No, if no such item, then return no solution. Okay, this is how we do a programming, which is we do a, kita dah letak dah. Kalau dia no solution, kita dah letak dah. Dia punya error, punya message kat situ kan. Okay, and if our S value of X, then sum, sum plus X. Okay, this is a 3D algorithm. Uh, okay, 3D algorithm produce good solution on mathematical program but not on others okay this is the weakness consider the following example okay greedy algorithm kita nak cari ah uh, okay sekarang ni kita nak cari yang paling besar kan ah uh, nilai yang paling banyak okay daripada tujuh ni yang mula-mula okay so kita tahu 12 between 3 dengan 12 so 12 yang paling besar then between 5 and 6 6 yang paling besar so the best solution ialah 25 
Okay, but actual largest pulse tu ialah 3 dengan 99. Okay, this is uh, dia, sebab dia, dia, dia bandingkan satu per satu. Okay, kalau kamu nak tahu kat sini, kamu boleh modify this greedy algorithm instead of tengok satu ke depan, kita kena tengok yang kedua ke, ke depan lagi. Maksudnya one layer but we we at more advanced we go to second layer so we decide okay so we we will not consider only 3 and 12 but we consider one layer ahead which is 99 okay lepas so baru kita decide okay so that's the modification of your algorithm to get the uh, largest value for this particular problem okay Radio algorithm try to find a localized optimal solution which may eventually lead to the global optimal solution. However, generally, QD algorithm do not provide globally optimal solution. Okay. Dia dapat local maximum je kat sini. Dia tak dapat global maximum. Okay. Most network algorithm use critical approach such as traveling, salesman problem, minimal spanning tree algorithm. Okay. This is the jigsaw minimal spanning tree algorithm and many more. We will study the accredited algorithm and extended accredited algorithm in integer. Ah, uh, ini nanti lecture sih kita akan tengok lagi algorithm untuk accredited algorithm. Then the accredited algorithm in a way to find the greatest common divisor of the two integer. This is that the thing that we will learn in lecture six. Okay, this is the thing that we and other than that is jigsaw. Ini pun kita akan cover nanti lepas. Ah, uh, next punya lecture. Okay. So, here what we cover today and this is the integer. For today, attendance, I consider for those who answer this quiz for today is already attend my lecture. Okay. Good luck for your quiz. Thank you. Assalamualaikum.